Trinidad and Tobacco deserves all the honor as the first nation to commemorate Emancipation Day as a national holiday. Jump. Jump. And particularly for giving it the international dimension it has assumed. As Santahene Otumfo Osei Tutu II saluted both the valiant heroes who worked to end the slavery and those who came after to cement the change. And yes, we also salute the heroes in, post, in the post-emancipation uh, epoch. Marcus Garvey, Dr. W.B. Du Bois, Dr. Martin Luther King, the, the radical tr Trinidadian intellect George Padmore, C.L.R. James, whose intellectual and philosophical ideas fanned the flames of Pan-Africanism and inspired leaders like Kwame Nkrumah, Jomo Kenyatta, and Nelson Mandela to pursue the political emancipation of the continent of Africa from the yoke of colonialism. Meanwhile, also speaking at the event, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said that at the level of CARICOM, there is a committee to advance the cause of reparation and to educate those who claim not to know and do not take any responsibility for the African Holocaust. He revealed that he wrote a letter to the British monarch soon after Barbados became a republic in 2021. I took the opportunity when I got back to Trinidad to write to the now king and then prime minister, the two leaders in Britain, pointing out to them that we in CARICOM, we in Trinidad and Tobago, we have a conversation on reparation. And since that statement was made in Barbados by the king, who was then the prince, it was a good time to take on board the conversations of responsibility and reparation. Signed, Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. The Ashanti King said, courageous resistance has brought us to the happy place where Trinidad and Tobago can join hands together with Ghana, think together, plan and pull our resources together to overcome the distresses of this moment into the prosperity of the future. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News.